But the label heard it and they were like, this is a hit. We're going to put it out. You know, so they put it out and it was a hit. You know, what can I say? Hello, Biffy Cairo. Hello, Alice. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. So, last week you released the acoustic version of Mountains. Mm -hmm. Of course, Mountains to me seems like a really logical choice because it's, well, you can tell me, but how does that song go down with your fans? To me, it seems like a hit. Yeah, it's, it's a song actually. It's one of the only songs we've ever like, released from between records, like back when we put it out in 2007 or 8. Mm -hmm. It was, we've never ever put a song out between records before, and it was a song that. I wrote quite quickly and we played it in a sound check and of course it sounds, sounds like a rock and roll fairy tale. It does. <laughs> but the label heard it and they were like, this is a hit. We want to put it out. You know, so they put it out and it was a hit. You know, what can I say? But uh, no, it was just one of those songs that, that was felt really special when we kind of had it when it first came on the scene for us and it felt like it felt like a new level of kind of confidence for our band. You know, it felt like a, a type of song that, that we hadn't really written up until that point. So so yeah, it's always been one that we we played acoustic a few times, and it, it really take the, when we play it acoustically, we you know we really try and bring out the fragility and the tenderness of the songs. You know, obviously when we're playing with acoustic guitars, you you don't have the power that you would normally have with you know with all the volume and mm -hmm. all the lights and the production. So so it's nice. It sits in a different place, mountains. That, you know, when it is acoustic, it's a lot more of a it's kind of more like a lullaby, I think, right. mm -hmm. and less less sure of itself because the whole nature of that song is meant to be a bit preposterous and like you think you can do anything, and, and really the the acoustic version feels a lot more vulnerable, mm -hmm. and I quite like that aspect of the song coming out because it's not all chest pumping, kind of mm -hmm. like we're great, you know, <laughs> <laughs> not all that. You know? Because it does play with nature quite a lot, certainly in the lyrics. I mean, what was your inspiration for writing it? I think. The, the main inspiration was was my growing confidence as a songwriter, to be quite honest. It was, we'd released three records by that point, and uh, four records actually. And we'd probably, r r I'd probably written and maybe we'd released about 70 or 80 songs. So I, I think I, I just felt like this is what I was doing at that point. I felt like this is my life and, and there was just a kind of liberation in that we were that deep into being a band. So, so you're not kind of worried. It's a weird balancing act when you first start making music you're trying to kind of do everything and you're trying to grab people's attention and that was a that was a moment where I feel that we weren't kind of necessarily trying to do that it was just as we kind of found our place in the world I was confident what type of band we were so the song is about discovering that inner strength and that growing confidence was that something that you guys felt within the band as well absolutely I, I think um the moment we heard that song, I should imagine that the <clears> lyrics maybe came a little bit later. I'm guessing that the first time we played in the soundcheck, we we're probably mumbling through some lyrics. Yeah, I had the bit. chorus. I had the main chorus. Because the music, as we talked about there, with the kind of juxtaposition between the power of the music and also the power of the the lyric. It, at that point, even without the lyric, there was a power to the music. Mm. I remember playing it in soundcheck and just feeling the atmosphere in the room, you know. And you're never sure if it's just you that's feeling it and but you could see people were like, oh, suddenly yeah, that nice suddenly, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> suddenly people are interested in soundcheck, which usually uh -huh. they aren't at all. Oh yeah, Biffy so. were always great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I think when we heard the lyric, we were just like, oh, mm. that is just a home run. You know, it's just mm. such, such a kind of, it's such a powerful lyric. Not, I know you talk about chest beating, but it, it's an internal power of, in a way. It's like having a feeling that that no one can take away from you. Know, which is. It's, it's a really strong image, you know. Mm. I think there's there's certain songs that where the lyric and the music kind of just adds up to, to yeah, I don't want to use the word to us kind of perfectly, yeah. you know, like the sentiment of the song and the music. You know, sometimes we deliberately make the sentiment of the song like more darker or aggressive when the music's pretty. And but that was just one of those kind of moments. I'd say that and kind of many a horror mm -hmm. from that era. Yeah, machines mm -hmm. from puzzles. Puzzles. puzzles? <laughs> We've been joking about. Oh my god! We've been deliberately getting our songs. Yeah, no, I love your album, wrong. Puzzles. <laughs> like, we don't have an album called Puzzles. <laughs> oh, and you've written so many songs. Yeah. Yeah. So hard to keep Can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, there's certain moments where you just like a song will just kind of define a record or define like a period, and when 
you kind of hope to have at least one or two of them in every record because it gives it a spine, you know, and it mm. means everything else kind of grows off it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Mountains certainly was the f- first <clears throat> song for Only Revolutions that was like, this is it, the album uh-huh. grows up from here. That's mm-hmm. On Puzzle, it, Puzzles, it was, it was Machine. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, in Ellipsis, it was rearranged. You know, there's like one, always one yeah. song that just kind of has, encapsulates something and, 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 yeah, as I say, everything's kind of more of a reaction to that. So Mountains was that song. And Only Revolutions, I mean, you'd, you had found mainstream success before that, but Only Revolutions really hammered that home. Mm. Like you, was it gold, platinum sales on that record? Yeah. It was massive. Yeah, we tripped the double platinum, yeah. Double, <laughs> double <laughs> right. Yeah, if, if it was one of those X Factor things, it would be like, sold quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, one billion plays! <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not quite in Taylor Swift territory. No, no, no. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Thank but goodness! How, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But I know, don't worry. But how did that... Um, how did that feel to suddenly be catapulted to number three in the charts with a record, or to number five with, with Mountains? Yeah, I think it, the single was, because like, Mountains stuck around the top ten for quite a while, and that, that was really surprising to us, you know, you want your albums to do well and things, and, and but a song, kept, that was when we realised that, that all we'd ever wanted was kind of the music to be, we always said we'd much rather people knew our music and our songs and knew our band or knew what we looked like. And that was the first time that actually kind of ever really happened. Mm-hmm. And it was, mm-hmm. I mean, again, we're probably so cynical and glass half empty kind of guys that we probably, I don't remember celebrating very no, much. No. I remember being like, this is weird. That's <laughs> just because we were sat next to like, I'm sure like there's an oh. LMFEO was in the yeah, charts or something it. at that point. I remember yeah. like, going, what is wrong Probably. with this picture? Yeah. But it was, it, it, it was, it was definitely a moment that, that, that that feel different. Yeah. Some bands, when they have huge hits, they get re- not reluctant, but maybe they get quite well worn on the stage. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Is that the case with Mountains? No. How does that feel to play it? No, it still feels great. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll have played that at every show since oh, yeah. we had it, and yeah. Yeah. we've never considered not playing it, no. and it's never not felt amazing. You know? I think <laughs> it always surprises us a, a little bit when bands will be like, oh, I hate that song now, because it's like, well, I don't think we've ever hated any of our songs because. They come from the hopefully the purest place, and we're still as proud now of songs that we wrote 15 years ago mm-hmm. as we are ones we wrote two years ago. And and you're always more excited by the new stuff, but there's just a few. I mean, yeah, we've never ever got bored of playing yeah. any song. I don't think. Take that away from me. 